Dear students, welcome to our fourth part of our tutorial about creating assembly drawing using AutoCAD Mechanical. Now we'll create new part components. What this stands for? Let's go back to our drawing and see. In certain previous tutorials, we already make our sectional front views of our assembled parts. But if you look here and click, our parts are contained of lines, holes, circles, etc. To get mechanical, identify everything here in our browser. He identifies the standard parts like hole. This is my, our hole. This is the other hole. This is the front view of the hole. This is the front view of the other hole. So in order to make our AutoCAD mechanical identify our parts, we have to create components and give them a name and mention the view of our component. So let's go back here and see the four steps our cre creating a new component will be first we'll give a name of our com of the component for the component second we'll identify the view front side top view of this component we'll select all the component objects lines circles hatch etc and then we'll specify a point on this component and I'll repeat it again to create new component we'll do for for We'll go for four steps. First step, we'll give the name. We'll give it a name. We'll identify the view. Select all the objects of the component, all the circles, lines, etc. that contained in this component, and then we'll specify a point. Just go and start. We know our name of our component. This is a body, this is a cap, and this is a bush. So I'll go to the browser, on the shaft bracket here, right click, and I'll pick new component. Down at the window, it'll ask me to give a name. My name, my component name is CAP. Let us make it capital letters, CAP. Hit enter, it'll ask for the view. I'll work with front view first and then with top. So I'll give, I'll write down front to mention that this is a front view. Enter. He asked me to select all the components that contains in this cap. Where is the, con here's my all components are contained in my cap. My holes, my lines, center lines, hatch. Enter. And I'll pick a point on this so he gathered all this one and give it a name and identify it as a cap all these components lines hatch etc hole he identified my autocad mechanical identify them as a cap and give it here that this is a front view I need a top view of my cap so I'll click here and I'll go new and component view here not new component I'll take a view of my cap before I take a view of my cap our assembly or top view of our assembled parts will be without hidden lines so I'll take all these hidden lines and delete them here too I'll delete all hidden lines I don't need my hidden lines in my assembly make it a little bit bigger I can freeze them also, but here we delete them because in order to make the this cutting plane, I'll take it out. I'll take this cutting plane out too, and my top view is ready. So, in order to do any view of any part, I'll click on the part. In order to do a component, new component, I'll take, I'll pick on the assembly. 
on the part right click new component view he asked me what what view I have already front view so this is the top view yes I won't write anything he right here down as we see top view I'll hit enter select this is my top view of the cap enter pick a point I'll pick this point on the cap so we have a cap and we have front view of the cap and we have top view of the cap I repeat these steps for the body and bush for the body so I'll go back here right click and take a new component my component name is body enter my view is front enter this is my front view of the body I'll select all these objects enter and my point will be here I repeat for a view for the body so I'll click on the body right click and new component view is it the top view he asked me here he have the default of top yes it's the top view enter I'll select the top view of the body and hit enter I'll specify this point and we have a body with the front view and top view to the bush I need two bushes upper bush that will be here and lower bush will be here so I'll take I'll make a mirror first first I'll identify it and then take a mirror of my bush okay right click here or right click here doesn't matter new component component name is bush enter this is the front view of the bush enter this is my front view of my bush I select it enter and this is my point so I have a bush on the front view of my bush I'll make a top view right click at the bush new component view top view yes top view I'll select before before I select I'll take get ready of my hidden lines as I told you I'll do it again right click new component view yes top view enter so this is my top view of my bush enter and this is my point so I have front and top view of my bush this is my bush I have front view of my bush I have top view of my bush as I told you we need two caps so I'll make a mirror of my front view of my cap I'll move this away note that I click he identified as an another click he identify all the parts enter I'll take it from here and put it somewhere else here in order to do my mirror I'll be sure that my ortho mode is on I'll take a mirror from here select object this is my object first click second click he'll identify all the part I'll hit enter I'll put my mirror somewhere here from here to here click he asked me down erase source object no don't erase it I need it so I have two bushes upper and lower like this I create all the components that I need when I will go further to my part list he will identify them as a part Autocad Mechanical will identify all these components as a part thank you for joining me in this tutorial see you next lessons goodbye